In this episode, we're going to go hunting for those 80s toys I wish I had when I was a kid. So, stick around. Hello, fellow dorks and dorkettes, and welcome to Internauts Go! In this episode, we are going to hop on eBay and look for those 80s toys I wish I had when I was a kid. This episode goes along with toys I wish I had when I was a kid number 11. So, if you haven't seen that episode, jump over, watch that one, and hear me talk about the toys I wish I had when I was a kid. And then, jump back over here and let's search for them and see if they are obtainable today. Now, as history has proven, a lot of these toys are still going to be out of my grasp. They go for huge amounts of money that, unfortunately, I'm not willing to spend or able to spend on things like this. Sometimes we do stumble upon some cheap ones, and every once in a while I do bid on them, and every once in a while I'm lucky. Um, but, like I said, history has proven that a lot of these are still very unattainable to me. But, always gives me something to look for in the future, and without further ado, let's jump into the interwebs. Okay, here we go. We got the eBay page up. First thing to look for was the first thing in the episode, and that was the Ewok Battle Wagon. So let's check it out. Ewok Battle Wagon. Now, I would venture a guess that this will be expensive because most Star Wars uh, things are. I mean, especially back in the Kenner days. So let's see here. And like I always say, we're just looking at the best results. We're not searching for cheap and all that kind of stuff. That'll be something I do later off camera. But for right now, we're just getting a general idea. Hey, look, here's the Prince of Thieves battle wagon, which is the exact same thing. And that's 20 bucks. But I think it's missing the skull. Is it? Let's take a look and see. Because honestly, Prince of Thieves, Ewoks, if it's the exact same thing, I'll be happy to get it. $26.55 shipping. See, I've talked about this before. You got people that they don't know where the bidding is going to go, so they hedge their bets and dump a large amount of shipping on it because they just want a lot of money and they don't care how they get it. And yes, this is missing the awesome skull, so no dice. So let's see here. 1984 Star Wars Ewok Battle Wagon Vehicle Power of the Force figure Kenner $364.99. Yeah, at least the shipping's cheaper. 20 bucks just for the battering ram. Wow. 16 just for the instruction manual. Here it is, mint in box, $1,250. Here's the instruction manual for 64. Oh my goodness, a thousand for it. Oh boy. Here's a coin of it for 50. Whew, close to 3,000 there. Oh, look, here's the DVDs. Blu ray? Hmm. Oh, the Woodland Wagon. This is also very cool. Another, uh,. Thing that I'll add to the list one day, but let's take a look at it right now, shall we? I love these Kenner Preschool Ewok sets. I mean, they're just neat looking. I'm not getting a enlargement here. Come on. Come on. Here, let me just pull it up. Look at that. That's awesome. Man. But they want 100... Well, starting bid is a hundred, where you can just buy it outright for one seventy-five. Yeah, 
you pick Ewok Woodland Wagon part slide. 13 bucks for a part? Well, if I would, I would just get the Ewoks and the, uh, oh, I forget what they're called. The little horse thing. Wow. Okay, to be honest, like I said, I expected it to be expensive, but not this friggin' expensive. No luck here. Prince of Thieves all over the place, though. Now, yes. With the technicality, it is the Ewok battle wagon. But it's missing the skull, so... Stop trying to pawn it off like it's the Ewok battle wagon. Like I said, technically it is, but... Anyway, that was very disappointing and eye-opening. Now let's look at a pound puppy. Now, you can buy a re... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, words escaping me. <laughs> I apologize. Reproduction. Sorry, thank you. A reproduction of it for 20 bucks at Walmart, Target. So if I really, really wanted one, I could get one for 20 bucks. So this is just curiosity's sake. But look, 880, one bid, 10 hours left, you get the dog and a little puppy. Now these aren't hateful. All the pound purries. Definitely not hateful prices. But, yes, it was a toy from my youth that I wanted. Do I really, really want one now? No. Like I said, I still have a bunch of my little tiny puppy ones that, you know, I have more of a nostalgic f full, you know, uh, pull on because I owned them. But, yeah, not something I'd actually seek out. If someone were to hand me one, sure, I would love one. But, yeah, I don't have enough of a hankering for a pound puppy to buy one. But definitely wanted one back in the day. So, reasonably priced. So, that's something that I could obtain if I wanted to. Now let's look at Maximilian from Black Hole. Sixty bucks. Looks in great condition. I don't know what this hoodie has. Now here's a brand new one for thirty, and it's the reproduction. How big is this thing? Oh, it has an alternate head. His little uh, saw blades that whirl. Now, this is something I'm interested in. How big is this, dude? Is it the six-inch scale? It says one-tenth scale. So maybe that's six inches, possibly? I dig it. See, for something like this, I don't need the original. This is everything I could want right here. So I'm going to put this on watch list. And yes, I made sure to sign in before we started. Unlike some of my past episodes, I forget to. Oh, here's a Vincent. But he's $46. Let's take a look at him, why don't we? Now that's another Mego figure I would have loved to have. Let's 
but $46, I'd rather pay $30 for the Maximilian. Here's the Sentry robot, still in package, $145. Whoa, here's a whole bunch of black hole stuff for $440. $75 for Maximilian. I am really intrigued by the new one. Oh, apparently I spelled it wrong. So let's see what this search. 92 items. 44. Here's mini mates for 15. That's cute. 40. Looks like 30 is the best deal. Oh, a model kit for 100? That's awesome. 60 again for the original. Here's the $30 one. With $9 shipping. Last one, three watchers. I'm one of them. 109 for them there. There's another 30 with 1260 shipping. Yeah, I'm very intrigued by the new uh, Diamond Select one. Well, it's not new. It's from 2019, apparently. Oh, look at the pop. That's pretty cool. So anyway, let's now take a look at the Tron Light Cycle toy. Here's the new movie for 40. Here's one of the originals, 1981. Sorry, I thought it was 82. Got a red one. The Blue Warrior. Yellow, which is a rare one apparently. So let's take a look at this for 40. Which unfortunately I don't have $40 in my pocket right now for something like this, but that doesn't seem too hateful. Oh, and that's the bid. Add it to my watch list. What the heck? Now, if I could find this for around 30, I'd definitely get it. Oh, here's that rare one, apparently. Does it have the figure for 36 That is a negative. I would love the figure as well. Now, I didn't know that, and I feel stupid for not including it in the previous episode, but they were, like, Rip roaring, you and they'd shoot across the floor. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Here's one with that for 47, three bids on it. In package for 70. Oh, anniversary edition. Still, it's pretty cool. A lot of money, but pretty cool. Out of the new movie. Who seven hundred for all these figures in a light cycle? Who? A track set. Set missing one piece. What is this exactly? I 
Oh, okay. It's for the new movie. Look like Hot Wheel tracks. So for about 40 bucks, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but I just can't uh, justify buying that right now. So now, Alf. Alf Puppet. $4.99. All four of the many faces of Alf for 20 bucks with $9 shipping. Oh, here's the one I want. Surfing Alf. Add that dude to my watch list. Look at that Hawaiian shirt. That is awesome. A dollar, yeah, with eight forty five shipping. Seventeen ninety nine, and it comes with sunglasses and a surfboard, but that would be, you know, twenty eight dollars when it's all said and done. Thirteen dollars. $25, now I'm going to bid on this. $5 shipping with, five, oh, I'm sorry. Four eighty-five shipping. Sorry, cat coming through. You're in the way. Okay, four eighty five shipping, four ninety nine. We'll give it a six dollar bid. So we'll see. His sunglasses are ripped. But he comes with a surfboard. I can live without the sunglasses to get them for $10. See if there's anything else close to that. Here's an Alf Finger Puppet. That's pretty cool. Here's a stuffed one from Coleco. 20 with free shipping. Okay. So we'll leave it at that. We'll see how the bidding goes. Like I said, or like we saw, his sunglasses are messed up, but who cares? If I can walk away with it for around $10, I'd be happy. That would be a, a uh, don't want to say a grail item, but something up there that I really wanted when I was a kid, and I would finally get it. So that would be awesome. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you got something to say, please leave a comment. I love reading them and I love getting back to everybody. And if you're new around here and you enjoyed this or any of the episodes that YouTube is recommending down here, please hit subscribe. And if you hit that little bell icon, you'll be notified whenever there's a new episode. So anyway, thanks for watching. Keep being rad and stay dorky.